Well, I, just as an update for this video, I had a lot of trouble trying to recover some of the video that I made for this section. Um, Wi-Fi and cell service has been really, really rocky um, since I made the uh, mistake of accidentally deleting the videos. So um, I managed to get some of it downloaded. Some of it's here, some of it's not. So I'm going to just say um, I ended up having to redo it all and just say enjoy it. Um, and uh, let me show you where I was at. So I'm back on the road. It is Thursday morning, I think. Um, actually, I guess it's just afternoon, so it's Thursday afternoon now. Making my way across Iowa. Today's special note was as I was getting everything, the last bits of everything ready. I stopped by the store to pick up some odds and ends, and I found these. They're Wiley Wallaby Soft and Chewy, and this is the Huckleberry flavor, and it's just a licorice that is absolutely amazing. Uh, so amazing that I almost ate through the last of them. Speaking of which, this is the last of them. So, but uh, they're nice pieces. They're vegan, no high fructose corn syrup, fat-free. Anyway, they're really tasty. I've never seen them before, but I will certainly keep an eye out for them again in the future. So, I'm out in Nebraska. Oh, uh, it's Lincoln, Nebraska. And, um had actually a fairly comfortable night, a uh, little camp away, uh, just off the highway, which you can hear in the background. Um, ran into a few more snags in the process of it all, but uh, it was a good night. Um, nice little campground, definitely if you're in Lincoln, Nebraska, looking for somewhere to camp. This is a nice little friendly area. Uh, had a couple of the regulars here come over and offer to help me set up, which was really nice, and then invited me over for cocktails and all, but which was awesome, but I was tired. <laughs> so um, right now is the next morning, and I'm just getting everything cleaned up, having a little breakfast, and then going to head out. Um, I got seven hours of driving ahead of me to get to Colorado today, and yeah, it'll be okay. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, had a nice, comfortable night. The weather was a little cooler, uh, but that was not unexpected. Yeah. Um, spent some time in the hot tub here last night, which was awesome. Um, but uh, doing well. So this is the little campground I'm in. Yeah, it's actually really nice because it's like a park uh, on this side. The highway's off there in the distance. Um, other campers are way down there. There's another motorcycle camper down there. Uh, and then over here is all the RV section. Trash is nearby, etc., which is convenient. My neighbors already moved out. Um, did notice that there are a lot of people. There are a lot of people who are getting started. There are a lot of people who are getting started really early in the morning. I was up at 6:30, and there are already folks who are on their way out. Um, I went to the grocery and picked up some things, and uh, came back, and it was considerably emptier. And even as I'm getting ready for breakfast, or doing breakfast, uh, it's almost 8, maybe just after 8, and uh, folks are moving along. So, so one of the problems this morning is that um, 
while it didn't rain, there was a really heavy dew, and the humidity is really high. Um, and the heavy dew means that everything is all wet. Um, anything that you left out, it's wet today. Um, so you have two choices. Either you can try and dry it off manually, or you can uh, wait for the sun to burn it all off. Yay! The other issue I had is my white gas stove, which has seen better days, certainly. Um, evidently, I didn't check it um, like I thought I had when I bought it. Um, everything seems like it should be working okay, but for some reason it's not even pushing out any gas or anything. It could be old gas, it could be um, something's wrong with the pump, I don't know. Um, so later on this weekend, I get to try and take it apart because that's how I plan on actually using the oven. So I definitely need to get it up and running. I actually just thought of something really kind of funny. I have never been one to actually make my bed every night or every morning. Um, and the whole process of moving around and so on. In order for it to all fit, I actually have to, you know, fold it all away and put it all away in the proper places and so on. Uh, maybe a new habit is forming. Let's see. So I made it all the way to Denver. I was supposed to stay in the Lake Jackson campground last night and I got the email from the Mountain Air Ranch uh, saying, hey, um, you're certainly welcome. We can certainly put you in the tent area. That's not a problem. Uh, it is first come, first serve, and the earliest you can get here is 10 a.m. And I said, oh, okay. Um, well, if I'm going to do that, then I don't want to have to um, unload, unpack, uh, reload, and you know, repack everything. Um, so, I opted to stay the night at a hotel and uh, went looking for the local Cracker Barrel, and um, which got there and it was so packed out, it was crazy. Um, I was like, oh my god, I'm not waiting in the line and I'm not waiting in the store and uh, I'm not really going to even wait outside. Um, so then I went back to the car and I looked for hotels and I found a Marriott property that's right around the corner and um, for a really decent deal for the night, uh, considering most hotels here are like super expensive. Um, and I said, okay, I'll do that. Um, we'll just go there. So this place is really, really nice. Um, it's very upscale, um, chic, you know, artistic. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else you could call it. Clean lines, you know, contemporary, I, said, I suppose, in some ways. Um, I'm still adjusting to the thinner air, <laughs> drinking lots of water. My skin is like soaking in all the water. I've taken like three showers already today, um, between yesterday and today. And, <coughs> and uh, just kind of trying to absorb through it all and trying to take it easy because I know that, you know, thinner air and everything can cause a lot of issues. Been there before. Got altitude sickness before. Um, driving into the mountains is a lot easier just because it's a little more gradual for you, but you still have to take it easy once you get there because otherwise you can get really sick. And um, I flew into Denver last time and got very, very sick from it because uh, I promptly decided to go with a friend of mine up to the to the mountains even higher and you know did some walking around and stuff and did not take it as easy as I was supposed to so um, definitely trying to be slow and 
deliberate about things, um, save myself as much energy and steps and so on. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'm sitting here and starting to pack up after the morning and after the night. I look over at my CPAP and I realized that it had, you know, I have one of the CPAPs that automatically uploads its reports to the cloud. And I have never seen it have full signal bars on it. And today I wake up and it's got all five bars, all bright green. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, I lived in Chicago. I didn't see it there. Uh, I stayed in hotels and, you know, high up in Chicago and didn't see it there. What was it, 12th floor and a double tree? Anyway. Um, it's just kind of a weird surprise. You know, why Why in Denver is it got full bars? So I'm all packed up and ready to go. And I decided to just lay down. And I'm like, I think I did just lay here for a moment. How long is a moment? Okay, a moment has passed. I really need to get up. Oh, but you know, it's okay. I've got to give myself time to adjust to the altitude. Yeah, things that take you absolutely no effort at all, it's like three times more effort when, you're, when you adjust altitudes like this, so it'll be okay. So I'm out at the Mountain Air um, Ranch Resort. It's a family nudist resort um, just outside of the Denver area. It's 89 degrees right now, and but the humidity is like 15%. So even though I'm dripping uh, in sweat, um, it seems like it, as soon as the breeze comes, it dries right off of me, which is kind of cool. Um, so it's actually pretty nice. Still trying to get a little set up tonight, today, whatever it is, and uh, go out from there. So I'm here at the newest resort, and I noticed a couple of deer who are working their way across the ridge on the hillside, just sitting there nibbling. Good morning. It is Sunday morning, and Last night, the temperatures dropped definitely into the 50s. Um, it was cold, but uh, it wasn't too bad. I uh, was nicely curled up underneath uh, the sheet and the blanket, and um, fortunately, having the CPAP, having uh, warm air pushing through the tubing, uh, warm moist air, this is humidifier, um, definitely helped get through the night without any problem. Um, it was definitely one of those nights where I seriously considered getting extra layers out and I had them set over to the side um, just in case I decided it's too cold to be like this. Um, it wasn't quite cold enough where I wanted to get out the down sleeping bag, but you know, it was questionable, but um, it was good. It's turning into an absolutely gorgeous day here. Um, I'm over at the community kitchen and made myself breakfast uh, out of my foods. Um, really kind of nice. So I'll have to show you. So I. I'm sorry for the roughness of the videos and the transitions of them. Um, 
Maybe one day I'll be able to pull all the rest of the video back down and be able to put it where it needs to be and redo the video. Uh, if I do, I'll do it as a re-release. <laughs> Remastered by Ben Volkman. Um, but anyway, um, my trip going from Iowa to uh, Lincoln, Nebraska to Denver um, Colorado and up into the conifer area where the mountain air ranch is located here uh, was a great time and um, a little cold at night uh, but beautiful daytime and uh, was definitely something I really enjoyed doing and uh, Got to see some amazing wildlife and some amazing um, people, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. So, um, definitely was an area that I was a little bit sad to leave. Um, there are some really cool restaurants there that I got to try out, and uh, there's one little rest Mexican restaurant, the best Mexican restaurant on the mountain. Unfortunately, that video is gone at the moment, um, but it had the coolest, I don't know why it was so cool, but it was the coolest um, sink in the bathroom. Um, it was like a you know, mountain um, prospector, like water well type things. So you turn on the well, you turn on the well top and water comes up through it, pours down and then it just kind of goes down this trough down into the sink bowl uh, where you wash your hands all and it was really cool but uh, hopefully in the remastering uh, at some point or another when I get really decent internet and time um, you'll be able to see all of that so otherwise I'll just have to go back oh gear and uh, redo it <laughs> anyway um, so thanks for watching um, be sure to like subscribe share and click the notification bell so that you get notified of the next video that comes out. And um, stay safe. And uh, be well. <laughs>